rain, huge torrential rains. Are there stories throughout the world in ancient times of huge torrential rains and flooding? Yes. And this all ties together. So we have all this data, especially from Greenland ice cores, from sediment cores, etc., that indicate the sun was very active. It underwent a solar outburst, and that's what ended the last ice age. Nowadays, we have what's known as the solar wind. And do we sometimes have what are known as coronal mass ejections, little outbursts from the sun? And does it sometimes cause problems like causing satellites to fail, et cetera, et cetera, or knock out grid systems temporarily, or maybe interfere with traffic control at, radio, um, at uh, airports? Yes, yes, yes. But that's nothing compared to what happened in the past. Um, but mostly what we see are, um, you know, pretty plasma effects like the aurora borealis, the northern lights, the southern lights, that type of thing. And this is courtesy of NASA, not to scale at all, but just showing how the solar wind and all the particles, they impact the Earth. The in Earth is that little dot in the center of what looks like a spider, and it changes the magnetosphere, or I should say it bends the magnetosphere, etc. And it also there's an issue of cosmic rays which can enter into the Earth's atmosphere. It gets very complicated, but all of this essentially, for the most part, is controlled by the sun and the solar activity.